Okay, it's time to go and rescue the queen. We've killed, unnecessarily I may add, killed a whole bunch of our, uh, uh what's his name? <laughs> troops. And here we are to go rescue the queen, because, you know, if she owes us, then all the better. My thanks. Aren't you a little short for a guard? Funny. Very funny. We must go quickly and avoid notice. If house people find me, I'll be killed. And my people will insist on escorting me back to the palace, where my father may also have me killed. That's gotta suck. <laughs> so where are we going again? Away? Alright. Warden. In the name of the Regent, I am placing you under arrest for the murder of Rendon Howe and his men-at-arms. Surrender, and you may be shown mercy. I'm here to free Anora, who was held captive. Don't be ridiculous. The Queen isn't being held prisoner here or anywhere else. Her father would never stand for such a thing. <sighs> you know that for certain. Unlike you, some of us know what honor and loyalty are. I have no doubts about Loghain. Bring them down! Loghain wants the Warden, dead or alive. You know, she was right there. She could have said something. Well, actually, I don't know where she is right now. We gotta do some killing anyway. So let's start doing that. Shall we go? <laughs> Okay, this isn't working out. Uh. Eamon, we have a problem. We have more than one, I think. Calm down. What has happened? The Wardens have been captured. What? How could this happen? Never mind that. The question is, how to free him? Surely you mean them, Your Highness. We need Alistair too. Yes, of course, I meant Alistair too. Calthrian will take him to Fort Draken. Getting inside will be no small feat. Oh, you're awake. I was starting to worry. I've never seen a prison from this side before. Very scenic. <laughs> Join the Grey Wardens. See the sights from the floors of the best prisons in the land. It's not much of a recruitment slogan, is it? Let's get out of here. I hope you have a plan. All right. We uh, well, I can't we, do anything but that. Yay! We won. A fake some illnesses. Yay. Help! Someone help us! My friend is dying. What's the matter with you? Oh, oh trying to be tricky, no. are we? No quarter no shall be given. Yeah, that guy was an idiot. Really? Well, I got me a weapon. And it stuck to my back. That's nice. Shall be done. Well, let's get the hell out of here. Because, you know, this place is depressing as hell. Huh. There we go. 
All of our stuff was just right there. Let's go some. Let's do some killing. Come on, Alistair, help out. Breaking out of this prison is pretty damn easy so far. Guards are stupid. They leave your equipment like 20 feet from where you were. Uh. Eh. Let's fight our way out of here. It shall be done. They hide your equipment 20 feet away from where you were kept prisoner. I mean, come on. <laughs> It's easier getting off the Death Star than this. Time for killing! There isn't even anything down here. How depressing. I killed a dude for nothing. You guys don't even know I'm here. List of passwords. I don't know what that is, but it sounds awesome. Yes, this door is impenetrable. I shall do it. Yeah, you guys got nothing good. Okay, we got another key. Do jack about that. Not a rogue. It's a big hall up here. That's got to be where we need to be. Enemies approaching. Now I know the rest of the team is mounting a rescue as we do. That's got to be somewhere good. <laughs> yeah, the. Uh, they're mounting a rescue mission as we do this, but it's completely unnecessary. Wow. Then it's fall. Off to the guard. Being killed all off to you, that's a shit. Do this, chumps. You got nothing. Foolish. Get back here. Maybe I should use an injury kit on Alistair, but you know, never mind. Why are there ballistas in the middle of this room? 
That doesn't make any sense. Uh, gotta check at least some of these up. Hey, a Chantry sister. Lady Andraste, bride of. Make us save us! We're under attack! What? Oh, okay, there are people coming in. Hey, how you guys doing? I knew they weren't gonna leave us hanging. Of course, their rescue wasn't terribly necessary. We would have found our way out anyway. Liliana wasn't in my party, though. Maybe they just pulled the characters to the highest approval rating. Disappointed we didn't get to try our plan. Oh well. Couldn't see your face because you were. Oh, she approved. As you say. Whatever. Couldn't see your face because she was crouched down a little bit. <laughs> There's gotta be something else in this room across the hall. Go check that out before leaving. And there's the exit, but, you know, that'll be the end of the episode. So, let's get out of here. See ya. Okay, here we are back at Redcliffe Castle. And I have basically come to a decision that I'm going to start moving towards the end of the game. There are a lot more side quests I can continue to do, including some character quests like uh, Ogren's character quest. I can go and do his, but I'm going to decide I'm going to move towards the end of this there also are, uh, there is an additional character I can pick up in this game. If I wanted to name Shale, a large, a, um, Shale is, is a golem that we find is part of a DLC character. But in this version of the game, the PC version, I don't have access to all of the expansion content that I did back when I played the PlayStation 3 version. So I'm just not going to do that stuff. I'm not going to go and purchase that stuff for the sake of this LP on this on this machine. Although I may end up doing the Awakening DLC that was I like a pretty significant expansion pack to the game. No, which t which is like takes place a year or whatever after this game. I may end up doing that. But for now, I'm going to head toward just head towards the end of the game and see where we go from here. I gotta go talk to Al Eamon here, though. I understand you've acquired all the allies you could. That's good. We can call the Landsmeet if you are ready. I would prefer not giving Logain time to consider, but it is up to you. I do not wish to go to Denerim unless you are with me. Let's go to Denerim now. Excellent. I shall make the arrangements. Let us be off to Denerim, and may the Maker watch over us. Now, Landsmeet is essentially a sort of... I wouldn't call it an election. Well, maybe you should. To determine who is going to lead the country, not the king. And as far as anyone is concerned, all of his lineage are dead. Somebody needs to be chosen. Denerim is the heart and soul of Ferelden. It was the city of King Kalanhad the birthplace of Andraste. As stubborn as a Mabari, and as good to have on your side. If we defeat Loghain here, the rest of the nation will follow us. By calling the Landsmeet, I've struck the first blow. The advantage, for the moment, is ours. He will have little choice but to show himself, to oppose us directly. He will strike back at us. The only question that remains is how soon. Logan, this is 
An honor, that the Regent would find time to greet me personally. How could I not welcome a man so important as to call every lord in Ferelden away from his estates, while a blight claws at our land? The blight is why I'm here. With Caelan dead, Ferelden must have a king to lead it against the Darkspawn. Ferelden has a strong leader. It's Queen, and I lead her armies. Considering Ostagar, perhaps we need a better general. And who is this, Eamon? Some new stray you picked up on the road? And here I thought it was only royal bastards you played the nursemaid to. I am Bruce Coatslin, Turn of Highover. The Kuzlins are dead. The Terran of Highover belongs to the Howls, and rightfully so. I demand blood rights. This man murdered my family. You have no rights. Your family surrendered them when I revealed them to be traitors to the king. You think you can slander my family to my face? You are either very bold or very stupid to threaten the Tern before witnesses. Enough, Carthian. This is not the time or place. I had hoped to talk you down from this rash course, Eamon. Our people are frightened. Our king is dead. Our land is under siege. We must be united now if we are to endure this crisis. Your own sister, Queen Rowan, fought tirelessly to see Ferelden restored. Would you see her work destroyed? You divide our nation and weaken our efforts against the Blight, with your selfish ambitions to the throne. What efforts can there be when you outlaw the Grey Wardens? Kaelin depended on the Grey Wardens' prowess against the Darkspawn, and look how well that ended. Let us speak of reality rather than tall tales. Stories will not save us. I cannot forgive what you've done, Loghain. Perhaps the Maker can, but not I. Our people deserve a king of the Theron bloodline. Alistair will be the one to lead us to victory in this blight. The Emperor of Orlais also thought I could not bring him down. Expect no more mercy than I showed him. There is nothing I would not do for my homeland. Well, that was bracing. I didn't expect Loghain to show himself quite so soon. Have you known Loghain a long time? My sister married King Merrick while he was still in exile. At that time, he and Loghain were inseparable. The wild prince who'd never seen the inside of a castle, and the farmer's son. When Loghain joined Merrick's rebels, he was just a raw-boned boy. But he got on one knee to swear that he would see Ferelden free, or die trying. And now he kills Merrick's son and steals his throne and conspires with a blood mage to poison me. It is a bitter dose to taste. The Chantry speaks truly about the corruption of power. If a man like Loghain could go and do this, I would never have believed he would do anything but what was best for Ferelden. We need eyes and ears in the city. Loghain has been here for months. The roots of all his schemes must begin here. The sooner we find them, the better we can turn them to our advantage. Go have a look around and see what you can turn up. Better yet, find the nobles who have arrived for the landsmeet. Test the waters. See how many will support us. When you're ready to talk strategy, come upstairs to my sitting room. We can lay out our plans for the landsmeet then. Okay, so we have our mission. We gotta go and check with some of the other nobles and see where their loyalties lie. Are they willing to support us or are they going to support the game? Something I want to make a mention of before we get too far with the two characters that we had seen, Logain and Hal. Logain's voiced by Simon Templeman, the voice of Kane in the Legacy of Kane series, and Hal is voiced by Tim Curry. Uh, pretty well-known actor. 
You know, I could get to like this. The last time I came to Denerim, I stayed at an inn so filthy the bedbugs had fleas. What say you? Do you stare at everyone like that? Not everyone, but a handsome man like yourself. Why not? I am sure you are a man who draws many stares from women and other men alike. Does this bother you? Uh, I had no idea you were. <laughs> I was raised in a brothel and trained to seduce whomever is required. Open-mindedness is a survival trait, and I learned long ago to make no such judgments. But if you would rather I desisted, I shall do so. I've no wish to make you uncomfortable. Yes, I'd prefer you stop. Your wish is my command. Now that that is out of the way, shall we move on? With my eyes fastened elsewhere, I assure you. Ah, crap. Lost a bunch of approval points for them. Any anyway, whatever. <laughs> I have one four-way with this guy, and suddenly he thinks you're gay. <laughs> this is a nice change from having to sleep in the woods, isn't it? I'm here for you. Okay, that was a... Uh, that was a weird change of subject mid-sentence, but uh, what do you know of this place? Denerim is Ferelden's most important city, yes? This is the seat of power, the jewel in the crown of the king. She is Ferelden's heart. Her walls are strong, but within them lies so much beauty, just like the country and the people. Let's just move on. Not gonna get a whole lot out of these people. Hey, some guy I don't know. I hope all the accommodations are to your liking, Warden. No, they yeah, suck. So many visitors, so many chamber pots to clean. Oh, if they keep tracking mud up here, it's going to take a month to get it all out. Is this a chamber pot? Should I be pooping in that? What? Oh, hold on. Ah, shit. Ah. Yes. Yes. Indeed. Did not really mean to go this way. Come on now. Don't take forever to load. market district. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I guess I could leave, but I'm not going to. Let's find some people. Oh, it's you. I got a moment. Hey, sure. <sighs> Never mind. Hi. All right, then. Yeah. Oh, there's one of my people. This is a nice estate, isn't it? What's on your mind? <sighs> Nothing. I shouldn't have disturbed you. It is you. no trouble. Uh, I guess this is just my, uh, like my, what do you call it? It's like your base of operations when you're in this area. Yeah. Excuse me, I have to dust the Isle's sitting room. Uh, are you from Denerim? No, I'm from Redcliffe. Lady Isolde brought me here to be her chambermaid last spring. I have family here, though. I beg your pardon, sir, but I really can't be seen standing about. The housekeeper will have my head. Good day. Damn it, I want to keep you are standing about. His lordship sends no notice he's coming, and now the house is Dog. Morgan and Sten. If one more servant asks if I would like a change of clothes, I will set the house on fire. What comes, my friend? What? <laughs> Never mind. Crazy bitch. Uh, are you nuts too? 
This is not as defensible as I would like, but it will do. You called. Yes, you are insane. Let's go. As you wish. <laughs> and you're gonna say nothing. Because you're a dog. Is this my room? I always must be wearing my armor for reasons. Ah, Warden. I trust you've made yourself comfortable. Who's that? This is Elena. She's... I am Queen Enora's handmaiden. She sent me here to ask for your help. Or perhaps the young lady prefers to speak for herself. Why would Enora ask us for help? The Queen. She is in a difficult position. She loved her husband, no? And trusted her father to protect him. When he returns with no king and only dark rumors, what is she to think? She worries, no? But when she tries to speak with him, he does not answer. He tells her not to trouble herself. I'm still not seeing where our help comes in. So she goes to how? A visit from the Queen to the new Isle of Denrum is only a matter of courtesy, and she demands answers. That's crazy. Howl is a lunatic. He calls her every sort of name, traitor being the kindest, and locks her in a guest room. She has soldiers. Let them free her. If the palace guard be siege, house estate, my lady will certainly be killed before they can reach her. I think her life is in danger. I heard how say she would be a greater ally dead than alive, especially if her death could be blamed on Arl Eamon. Would Loghain kill his own daughter just to frame Eamon? We may have no choice but to trust Anora. The Queen is well loved. If Loghain succeeded in pinning her death on me, I'm not sure that's a risk we can afford to take. What do you propose we do? I have some uniforms. I'll howl. I have so many new girls every day. A few more will not cause much stir. I will show you to the servants' entrance. We must slip in and out with my queen before anyone is the wiser. I will go ahead to house estate. Meet me there as soon as you can. Ah, oh, jeez. We've got to rescue a queen all of a sudden. Hey, it's Alistair. I haven't been here in a while. They've changed the dining room. Something on your mind? Yeah, you're acting crazy. It shall be done. And I take it that's it. We have our mission. We gotta go save the queen, but doing it in another episode.